Phase one of Apple Intelligence is here, and now since more and more eligible iPhones are now finally having Apple Intelligence, let's run down all the important features that you need to know. Starting off by enabling Apple Intelligence. You see, because you need to go into your Apple Intelligence settings first, and then scroll down until you find the Apple Intelligence tab right here you'll be able to enable it right here. And after you do that, now you actually take full advantage of the new iconic Siri animation. And it not only works on your iPhone, it will also work on CarPlay as well. So, so long as your iPhone is an iPhone 15 Pro or newer, you have Apple intelligence integrations. Everybody else, unfortunately, they will be stuck with the old fashioned Siri. But once you turn it on, by double tapping the bottom portion over here, you are now able to actually type to Siri. So you don't verbally have to ask it general questions as you can just type in like whether, and then just hit the up arrow. And no time, it will give you the information right there. You can also talk to Siri naturally now too. This works for not just the Siri results, but also the photo apps. So you don't have to search for a lot of different things. You can literally say like red truck was the guy was the mustache and Siri was Apple intelligence will be able to identify it. And a cool little trick, not sure if you noticed, but my Siri can actually show me the text when Siri is responding to me, if I'm using verbal commands as an example. So if we activate Siri, how tall is the San Francisco bridge? We have the text right above here and I have the pencil icon, which allows me to pop this up manually. If you don't see that on yours and you like to set it up, quickly just go into settings, scroll down where it says Siri respond, click on this section and make sure where it says always show requests enable and it will show you the transcription right there on the text. And then if you're using like an ultra Apple watch, the ultra second generation, a series nine or a series 10 that we have here, sleep apnea notifications can now finally be enabled. Simply launch the app app for your Apple Watch and then scroll down to sleep. In the sleep tab, scroll down until you'll see the sleep apnea setup. And then from here, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to set up sleep apnea for your Apple Watch, which will send you notifications in case you're experiencing this and just answer this Q&A. Now let's go into detail in the new photo app which also receives some nifty features. But real quick, if you could take two seconds and hit this video a like by smashing that like button, that'll be truly appreciated because I like to keep doing videos driven by the viewers. You guys, thank you so much for watching, which is why a like means a lot because this allows me to continue making videos for you and not having to accept any sponsorship brands integrate ad segments that we typically see nowadays. So thank you to those leaving a like and allowing this video to be sponsor free. By launching the photo app, if you select on the photo and tap the little edit icon on the bottom over here and go into the new cleanup tool, very similar to like what Android phones or third party apps were able to do in the past, you could zoom in and do like a circle and this will censor any faces in your photos. And we'll also show you suggestions down here if you want to remove certain objects. So if I select these dumbbells, it'll use AI or Apple intelligence basically to clean and remove certain parts from the photo and it's gonna do its best. But sometimes it'll actually do an amazing job. Like for instance, this photo, if we go ahead and enter cleanup mode again, but instead of censoring, we're just gonna remove the truck that's in the photo. Again, it did an okay job. I'm assuming you could probably just like continue selecting certain parts until you get it just right to your personal preference. But now it just looks like water just randomly flown up as if it was blown by the wind. But I think this did a really good, great job for this video demonstration. So once more, circle around faces to censor them automatically or circle the entire subject and it'll remove it out of frame. And then if we reach down and go into our notifications, our notifications are now summarized. If you have a bunch of notifications stacked up with one another, it will summarize the main subject of that notification. And this also includes text messages as well. But a useful feature that I actually find myself using the most can be located in the focus tab. You see the focus tab now features reduce interruptions by enabling this. This will only prioritize important notifications. For instance, I find an example how I'll benefit with this. If I get like spam messages from friends and family, like articles they're sharing, you know, the type of stuff that's not really important. But if a friend sends you a notification saying, help, this is urgent, get back to me or call me ASAP, it will bypass the focus mode and will actually send you a notification if it's urgent. And the same applies with third party apps as well. So if like your security alarm system goes off on your home or your car, you'll still receive that notification. But if it's like spam, telemarketer, phone call, or 
unknown caller that's calling you, that notification will totally just be muted for you. Then for incoming calls, if you're a pick up a call and on the main phone app right here, there's these new audio waves on the corner where if you tap on here, you have the ability to actually record the call. This call will be recorded. And as you've probably heard, it verbally allowed the caller to actually be aware that this line is now being recorded. And then once you're done with that conversation, you can end the phone call. And if you look in your notifications, the translation has been saved in your notes app. Here you can replay the clip or just read the translation. And you also have the ability to utilize Apple intelligence to summarize the call. And then Apple intelligence doesn't just end there. You see, whenever there's a message that you receive, it's something normal, like, are you still going to make it here or how's it going type of thing, you know, general yes or no type of response. The keyboard itself will give you a quick Apple intelligence response. You can immediately select eliminating the need to actually fully having to reply and type up a message manually where you could just simply tap to confirm. So a little bit of time saving right there. And then in the Safari tab, if you have like a long article with a bunch of ads and stuff like that, there's now this new AI summary tool where you can select here, select show reader and tap above here and it'll summarize the complete article in a small paragraph summary. Then in the mail app, it will also utilize Apple intelligence to give you the brief priority important email addresses all automatically. And another amazing tool is whenever you're using the note app as an example, you'll see an Apple intelligence logo right down here. By selecting here, it will utilize Apple intelligence on whatever you typed where you could proofread it. It will give you the suggestions, do everything right there. You can reverse it or hit done. You may also rewrite it as well, utilizing Apple intelligence to make it sound simpler. Or if you like to, you can also select friendly if you like to make a certain sentence sound friendly for you or make it sound professional. And you also have abilities to also summarize your current paragraph into a summary, key points, list, or a table. It's able to finally organize all that for you. And it's not just for a note app, this will work across all your other apps and whenever you need to use a keyboard. Now, unfortunately, uh, Apple Creative Playground is still not yet available for this software update. Uh, this is going to be primarily available for next iOS 18 update, 18.2. So in other words, the ability to create emojis or create images by using text is not yet available. Right now, it's currently on a wait list, which you need access to the developer profile to actually have access to this. But something that is new that's only available for the iPhone 16 with the uh, button camera control right here is by activating the camera and you move it all the way up, you do have this new ability to switch between front facing camera or rear fit camera by simply just sliding down here. So that's a new little tool Apple added right there. And then for the hearing aid functionalities for the AirPods, these are already available and it's not exclusive for Apple intelligence iPhones. It's only exclusive to the second generation AirPod Pros, which I go through in more detail right over there. But there you guys have it. That is everything you need to know about Apple Intelligence on this latest version of 18.1 of iOS 18. Let me know in the comment section which one of these features was your favorite, or if there's a feature we might have missed. Feel free to comment down below for the rest of us. Again, make sure to check out this video over there where I go through more in detail and all the new changes that got delivered to the latest firmware update for the AirPods. Thank you so much for watching.